Holiday Airport Cyprus, where the heat isn't just on the runway. So why, why, is, why is the flight delayed? Can you tell us technical problems? Technical so problems. On they couldn't tell us that five hours ago. Where some people just can't get home quick enough. I want to come home, tell it. We want to come home tomorrow. And where the reps take the rap. It's all right, darling, just go and get us a plane. Just go and get us another plane and get it up for everyone. You've done f all. You've done f all. Excuse me. What? Yeah, I do, because I'm pissed off, because you've done nothing. Cyprus, a former British colony. Like us, they drive on the left, the currency is the Cypriot pound, and most of the residents speak English. It's a home from home. But what Cyprus has that we don't is year-round sunshine. No wonder, then, it's among the top three holiday destinations in Europe for British package tourists, most of whom end up passing through Larnaca Airport. It's August, peak season, the temperature on the tarmac is a sizzling 45 degrees. But inside, it's about to reach boiling point. Yeah, come here, darling. They, they f up as Excuse you me, Martha. Well, I've had it. What should you do when you go? You can take your hands away. I'm going to lose it. I will lose it. Why should we? No, how are they helping us? They're leaving us to last. That's what I can do. You ain't got no, no choice. We booked for two weeks. We came Good faith with Libra, and now they are belching on it. No, 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 stay in the queue. Right yes, stay there. They're not accepting your tickets. Yeah. Stay there. I'll be one minute. Natalie Roach works for Libra Holidays, one of the biggest tour operators to the island, and today she's found herself in the middle of a communication breakdown. Can you just, can you just give the information to the reps and let all them know and... and... Libra's own airline, Excel, has cancelled a flight to London and their passengers are being transferred to another operator. Uh, checking, all right, leave them there, they've got to stay there, but anyone else that's spare, can you put them on the desk? That's bad enough, but they've now been told they have to wait until the airline's original passengers have all checked in. A telex has been sent from our UK office to say checking our guests with um, uh, the other airline tickets for the flight that got cancelled. They they're refusing to check them in with those tickets at the moment, so... No, they're not, they're not checking in with these tickets. The guests are getting a little bit upset now, quite rightly so. If you want to know where I come from, I come from England, Malden, Surrey, and I am not flying with them no more. I'm Greek as well, and this is how they treat me. <laughs> the Dimitri family are part of the 300,000 strong community of English-based Cypriots. But it doesn't look like they'll be making it back to the UK today. We came two weeks ago with Libra. We had, we had no notification. They reckon they put it in the post to us that our flight had been cancelled on Friday. They took our airline off, and now they're trying to get us on this flight, and the supervisor of the airline won't let us go on until last. And they're letting everybody else get on, but they will not let Libra get on. Libra Excel. And they're all disappearing now. Tour reps Natalie from Libra Holidays, Jessica from Olympic and Emma from Thompson Holidays are among the 5,000 people who try to ensure Larnaca Airport runs like clockwork. But you can't always rely on the passengers to get it right. These say six o'clock. These say quarter to three. We've missed it. Wow. We've gone by that and not by that. Return flight home quarter to three, yeah? Return flight home six o'clock. We've got two different things. We completely missed our flight now. Basically, we're in this. <laughs> it seems that somebody somewhere has made a mistake. But who's to blame? The child family or the travel agent in England who booked the package deal and sent them their itinerary and tickets? Thompson rep Emma's on hand to try and help them solve the mystery. The onus is always on the passenger to check the travel documents. Travel documents, in this case, will be the tickets, not the letter that they've sent you. It's up to them to get us a flight home, yeah? If they, if they admit liability, yeah? What it's happens if home. they don't? We have to find the money for the flight home. Oh, well, are we supposed to get the money for If I was you, I to? would ring these people straight away, right. other than that, the nearest flight that you're going to get to East Midlands is Manchester tomorrow morning, and that's from Cyprus Airways. It's 191. 
for the over, people over 28 and 110 for people under 28. These have got to find us a flight home. They can't leave us here, can they? And this is the first time I've been abroad and it's the last. And she's pretty mad. And I just want to go home. I, I will be panicking if these don't get us a, a flight home. I'll be going mad. If the travel agent won't accept the blame, the childs could be forking out for five new flights. This is just a nightmare, man. It would only happen to us, wouldn't it? Now it's back to their apartments to try and sort things out. So what happens to us? How do we Why are you being difficult, though? There's empty seats on that plane. Lee Barrett Natalie is still trying to get her transferred passengers through check-in. Well, why can't you do it now for me? Instead of making this big situation. He wants all the people without Excel tickets to check in first, and then they can check in. He says he wants to uh, look at how many empty seats are on the flight. And I, I said, I can tell you how many empty seats from our allocation. I can tell you. But he went, I want to check anyway, so. I don't, I don't think they should be allowed to muck people up this way when you pay enough money for your tickets to come over here, and they do that to you. I don't think it should be allowed. Back at their apartments, Leslie Child is on the phone to her travel agent in England. Mrs Child, yeah. We're stuck in Cyprus. The two confirmation things we've got are completely wrong. Both of them are wrong, so now we're stuck here and we need to get home. But it seems the travel agent thinks the Childs are to blame for the blunder. Give it here. Give it here, Leslie. Hang on one minute, hang on one minute. She says she can't get us home. Right, can you tell me, please, why you cannot get us home? Give me one good reason why you can't get us home. Our money's good enough, isn't it? So then, who do, who do we blame then? The people who printed this out? Come on, you, you, the book's got to lie somewhere and you can't lie it with us. I want to come home, tell her. We want to come home tomorrow. What's her name? What's your name? Oh, you're the one that booked the flight. <laughs> that makes it even better. Let me talk to her before I start swearing. Hello? She's moaning at the way you spoke to her. I don't care, Leslie. <laughs> oh, why don't you put this thing down? They're still no nearer to solving the mystery or to getting a flight home. Ayanapa, one of the clubbing capitals of the world. Each year, half a million tourists head for the former fishing village. There's 20 clubs, over 50 bars and 152 restaurants within a three-mile radius, so competition to pull in the punters is fierce. Brad Williams owns Club Mythology. Together with promoter JIT, he has a plan to win the Ayanapa Club War. Their secret weapon is Howard Donald. The former Take That star is now a club DJ. And as a friend of JIT, he's offered to play at Mythology. What's happening with the flight? Uh, 13 hours. 13 hour flight. 13 hours from here to Ibiza. The only drawback is that Howard has to be in Ibiza the day after the gig. We're trying to get um, Howard Donald from England to here and then here to Ibiza. And I've tried this year after year and year. The Ibiza thing is just impossible. The flight routes aren't there. It's about uh, three flights and it's about a 12, 13 hour trek. Jit knows it's going to be a nightmare journey, but is determined to get Howard on board. Ah, Howard is Jit. Um, there's, a, there's a way we could do this where um, you finish at the club at four, go straight to the airport, and you'll be in Ibiza for three o'clock in the afternoon. You go Ath um, Larnaca, Athens, Athens, Madrid, um, and then Madrid to Ibiza. We, uh, we'll change your flight to, uh, there's a two o'clock flight, so you'll be in Ibiza for three o'clock. So even though you won't get any kip then, you've got all day to chill in Ibiza. We like to fill the club, would be nice. 500 people would be lovely. About 350, 400 would be good. There's a flight Tuesday morning, get you here for Tuesday afternoon. Um, again, go to the hotel, chill, come and do the gig, straight after the gig, um, off to the airport. We'll do it then, yeah? Howard's whistle stop tour will have him covering 4,000 miles on four different planes for just 12 hours in Ayanapa. I go back, cheers. He's, he's one of these people who's a bit silly like me, where you think, oh, yeah, that sounds OK. It might, might be a bit tiring, but I'll be all right. And then you actually do it, and it's, it's a nightmare. But, but it's his problem. <laughs>
The Dimitris were transferred to a new airline when their flight was cancelled. But the check-in supervisor is insisting they don't have the correct tickets and won't allow them to board. They've already been waiting two hours. What it is, what it is, Libra have popped up in England because they've got the fast... That's because Libra have popped up the other end. I've decided on that. OK, so these are all right now, I'm going to go through. Yes, they're correct. But their rep Natalie's come up with a plan. If, if Lewis won't accept the tickets that, you know, we've asked them to, then we'll just change the tickets and then they have to accept them. We had a few plans, but because it's gone on so far and people getting upset, we just thought, right, we'll change the tickets. Then, you know what I mean, there was no need for it to happen in the first place, but if that's the way they want to play it, we'll, we'll play it this way. They're not letting you through with them changing the tickets. They've said no. So I've told them they've got to get us a private airline to get us back. They'll get me back, they'll get me back tonight. It still doesn't think you though, does it? It does say departure time on there, Mark, quarter three. The child family claim their travel documents show two different departure times. They followed the wrong one and missed their plane home. It seems they might have overlooked one important detail. What we have read here is our car booking details. Nothing to do with our flight. So the bad news is we have got to pay that if we want to get home. I said, how do we get home? She said, we've got to get back in touch with Thompson's and book that flight. Or somebody who can get us that flight. You just get the tickets from Cypress Airways, don't you? Book them. Just let me have a drink. I think it'd be easy to do that. So we've got to fork out the money, basically, to get home. And there's no guarantee they're going to give us money back anyway. Yeah. So who are we travelling with? I don't know. I'm just going to sit in and get pissed. <laughs> oh, I think you better turn it off, cos she's getting angry now. I'm getting very angry now. It's simple. We just book the tickets on it's the It's simple. Then. Go and do it. All right, then I'll book the tickets then. Um, five tickets, tickets, five tickets. We've got two under 28, three over 28. Yeah? Two, four, 600, 700, 800. We've mm. lost a phase we found, basically. We've lost the, the phase and the taxes. <gasps> the child family's error has cost them more than the original price of the holiday. We've lost a lot of money, but when we get home, we'll, I don't know, we'll have to argue our case and fight our case when we get home, keep all our receipts, keep our tea, keep everything, keep them papers and say, look, why is one say one? Somebody should have explained, this is your car, this is your did. tickets, shouldn't they? It's down to your company to sort it out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right, darling, just go and get us a plane. Just go and get us another plane and get it a private one. Because I don't care how you do it, but I'm getting home tonight and that's mark my word. After nearly three hours, the Dimitri family still haven't made it any further than check-in. They're now the only passengers who haven't been accepted onto the flight. I want to go to the toilet and I'm frightened to go in case they go with that. Hey, tell the world, do you want to go and pee? I want a cigarette. You can't have a cigarette. I can't have a wing. You can't have a cigarette. Greek speaker Marie has overheard something that makes their chances of getting home look even slimmer. What's the matter, madam? They, they're saying that they want to close the gate. Yeah. Yeah. It says, I'm going to shut his gate. No, it's okay. Just ignore me. Excuse me. You're not going to close his gates, are you, to these people who have checked in? Yes, good, thank you. No, he said he's going to close the gates in Greek, and after they're simple, we've still got these. Because we're great. So we understand what you're saying. He's going to close the gates, and we said, no, you're not. I've just asked him, he says, no, we're no, not going to. He won't give in. He won't give way. What Greek does? Yeah. What your father gave in. Finally, the family are accepted onto the flight. At last, some of them have got something to smile about. Don't ask me to smile, because I left London without my teeth. 
I came out and left my teeth on the side in their box and I've got halfway to the airport and I said, oh my god, my teeth are too well. Sorry mother, we're not going back. So I've had to manage two weeks without teeth. But they've been very good inside because, you know, I've been finding food that I could eat. You woke up as a smart one. After all the trouble we worked with, I don't we can smile. How would Donald X take that? Remember to take that? X Take That star Howard Donald is about to arrive in Cyprus on the first leg of his 4,000 mile four flight whistle stop tour. We've got Howard Donald playing tonight, climophology. His mates, Brad and Jit, are confident their celebrity DJ will guarantee them a packed club later tonight. Uh, the female response to him is, is it's shocking. There'd be girls who I know who are quite sort of aloof and cool, but they suddenly see someone from Take That and they're like puppies, do you know what I mean? They just can't help themselves. It's someone from Take That. Clamorphology tonight. Get yourselves down here, have a look. He's only actually here for about 12 hours on the island. Uh, he'll start his set at 2 in the morning. And at 4 o'clock, we have to stop all to get him to the airport in time for his flight at 5.35. And then he's got a three-flight trek across Europe to Ibiza, which um, should be fun for him. Perfect night would be uh, a packed club, everyone enjoying themselves and uh, Howard missing his flight home. <laughs> what time is it then? Five past five. Five past five. We're confident now. We've sold a lot of tickets and it's going to be good. I guess For me to give up. It's all right. It's time. Got a picture of you beside me. Got your lipstick marks the long. Get a car sick in the limo. Got a fist of your emotion. Take that. Split up in 96. Um, and it's still strange to think that, you know, seven years on now, you still you can just be walking down the street and someone will recognise you and it's it's quite bizarre. Being billed as X Take That, it's, um, it doesn't really bother me when it is X Take That, as long as it's not X Take That bigger than the actual name, which is what they put on the. <laughs> I, I said to him, I says, why have you put why have you put X Take That as, as big as our Donald? And you know, you could put something like you know, Funky House DJ or something, which is what I play. Yeah, I'm gonna have an hour sleep, and then basically I'm gonna get picked up in two hours time, I think and then go out for something to eat and I've got to take my bags with me and straight to the airport. So, no rest with the wicked, eh? Good night. At the airport, Thompson rep Emma will soon be hanging up her uniform for a big night on the town. Myself and Rachel. Um, Rachel's an avid Take That fan, so I have to go along with her so she doesn't look like a stalker. Um, <laughs> which we both are, really. Um, I am just because he's famous. Um, but he's fab, he's an excellent DJ. But no, it should be good. But it looks like Olympic holidays rep Jessica won't be seeing Howard tonight. A technical problem has caused a major delay on a Gatwick flight. Had technical problems, um, so it's missed his um, departure slot. Um, hasn't left the UK yet, so we um, need to advise the guests when they arrive at the airport. So I know they're going to ask why we've brought them to the airport already, but it's a full flight and we couldn't um, get around all the resorts to tell all the guests and change the uh, pickup times. Are well, we going to let the guests know at uh, check in? Check in. Right. They've got um, signs anyway on the check in. All right, I'm, I'm fully checked in now. All right, John. At the moment, it's five hours down. John delivers the news. How do we find out? Sorry? How do we find out? How do we find out what's wrong? Yeah. What when you delay? check in there, they'll be able to tell you there a little bit more than what I can at the moment, okay? okay? But when you check in, you'll get some vouchers for some food and things like that, okay? 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Jessica's having her first encounter with 11-month-old Darcy Johnston and her mum, Belinda. With the drinks you've been given to get milk. For baby milk. You know, how am I, because she's not on proper milk yet. Right, you know, I've got enough to do, me, but how long that is going to do, I don't know. I need to get out. It's the milk I'm worried about and food for her. Right, you know what I mean? to get food for the infant. When yeah, you what kind of food? Pregnant. Sandwiches is not going to succumb her appetite. Sandwiches is not going to do her. I mean, I can understand how she feels with the baby, but it's difficult because it is totally out of our control. So, I mean, if I'm sure they'll be able to do something milk-wise for the child when them. Um, she goes through to purchase anyway. The problem is, I have an infant, you know what I mean? She's, she's not on proper milk yet. You know, I've got enough to do me for at least till about eight, nine o'clock tonight. They're now saying we're not going till midnight, basically. I might not have enough to do her, so I've got to listen to her, you know what I mean? So basically, the bitch that, and I'm not happy. Not happy one bit. Here we go! Napa. The summer season is in full swing and tonight's star attraction is former Take That member turned club DJ Howard Donald. No, I'm just going to go to a bar. Um, I don't know what kind of bar. But Brad and Jid have got a surprise in store for Howard. What better way to pull in the punters than to parade their star attraction through the streets of Ayanapa? I used to love you, Howard! Do a photograph, love? I don't love my... <laughs> These bastards it's making me parade me like it's a monkey. It's not the truth. Well, all we're doing is having a drink. And people come over. What do we do? We're not. It's not, it's not like, oh, here's Howard Donald. Howard, from Take That, is DJing at Mythology, and I don't know whether you've heard him DJ before, but he's fantastic. I don't like attracting all this attention to myself. You know, it's strange for me. I like to keep my head down, but you know. I'm doing it for these guys. Everyone's interested, loads of girls buying tickets. Clubs going to be packed. Back at Larnaca Airport, the flight to Gatwick has been delayed for more than five hours and Belinda Johnston has run out of milk for her baby Darcy. Olympic holidays rep Jessica has just received some even worse news. There's going to be an additional four and a half hour delay. We're supposed to be flying out a hat. Why, why, why is it on the board? Is it not on the board? No, no. The board and no one in the brothers coming to see us and nothing. This the other way, he's got his money and he don't want to know us. OK, no, no, we do. We, this, we can't well, why is there someone in here looking after us? Because we were waiting for the information from the UK. But we've we've got we've got it now we're here five hours. I know. They're waiting for information. to depart at, 18, 30, at 5 o'clock, sorry, from the UK. So what, why, why is the flight delayed, can you tell us? Technical problems. Technical so problems. They couldn't tell us that five hours ago. No, so all of a sudden the plane broke down the space of five hours. That's what I'm saying. It was... Don't make sense, love. Honestly, it doesn't. OK, shall we go to make the announcement that I just came? Can you let us know what, what time we flying out at? In Ayanapa, it's nearly time for Howard to begin his set. It looks like Brad and Jit's marketing strategy has paid off. We apologise that his flight is delayed 12 hours tomorrow and he'll have to come and stay <laughs> with me. But it's OK, cos I'll look after him. And, and me! <laughs> In fact, all three of us. <laughs> you walk around and everyone, everyone, he gets mobbed. It's ex tech that. You, you can't beat it. You know I mean? And on top of that, he's cool as f. And you, everyone thinks he's great and he's nice, take loads of pictures. And, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's there. I've had a few more drinks, so it's not as nerve wracking as what it was before, but it's, uh, it's still stress. I think when you get too many girls around the blow, the guys don't like it, it's one of those things. And obviously, me being from Take That, being a pop band, um, being fancied by millions of girls worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen, I didn't mean that to sound big headed, but that's what happened. I think it's going really well. We've sold a lot of tickets, lots of photos, lots of autographs, and hopefully, lots of, lots of punters. <laughs> Last chance for the Howard Donald tickets. Sell out. I've got, I'll buy three, five. Left. I've got oh. three left. Can I buy five? five. <laughs> I just want to get to the club now because it's like quarter to, so um, I need 15, 10 minutes to sort out my records. Just step over it, you lazy git. <laughs> At Larnaca, Jessica's also found herself the centre of attention. Are you going to supply some more food and drink? 
No, we need to speak no. to the airline. No, no, what we need did to you speak drop to... that beat? Excuse me, sorry. Can you step in front of We need to speak to the airline about that first for any more welfare. So we'll be getting back to you to let you know. Oh. So what happens if I get sacked? I lose my job. What do I do? Fly back here? No, I will because I've got all the keys. Can we have a letter? Excuse me, sorry, hang on a minute. Can we have a letter from Olympic or from? Now, I'll we'll get it on the aircraft. I have nothing on me to give you. My job is at risk big times. I asked them, can I make a phone call? We have to go and see the airline. Can you make a phone call? We've no money. So what do we do? What do we do, die of thirst? And little Darcy still hasn't had her milk delivery. And it has to be for under a year old because there's all different brands over here. And it's the blue top and the red box. Lovely, that would be great. I'd appreciate that. All right, we go slowly, slowly, I think, uh, Jessica. As soon as I walked in, they just all bombarded me, shouting, and everyone had different questions, so... which I can understand, you know, how they must feel, being sat in there all that time, but... How did you feel? Me? Scared to death. <laughs> Is there any chance you can get some kind of baby milk? Sorry? Is there any chance we can get some baby milk? Baby milk? Yeah. Right. Powdered. Red right. top, not blue top. <laughs> In 10 minutes, Howard Donald will be going on, run until full, out of the building, into a taxi, off to the airport. I'm going to be gutted, but if he's got to get on a flight, he's got to get on a flight. He could have, uh, he could have declined the gig, but he's done it, and uh, we just have to make do with him leaving at four. And there's four a B club plan, or though. empty club. There is a B plan. What's the B plan? He Gypsy. misses the flight. What are you doing for? The one and only. This is, this is Howard Donald. It seems that tracking down baby milk at an airport is easier said than done. Powder, they get powder there? Baby milk, yeah. No. Not even in departures they don't have, no. But duty manager Kyriakos thinks he's come up with a substitute. Is that powdered milk? Yeah. What can I do at this time of night? Can't even go anywhere to find powdered baby milk. Uh, we we'll ask, we'll ask, we'll ask the lady. Yeah. We have uh, found uh, powdered milk. Okay. So what, 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 I need baby milk. It's baby, we don't. Milk. baby milk. Baby milk. We have fresh Jessica, it's water. baby milk yeah. I need, not powdered milk. They have fresh milk. Please. No, she's under one. She's under one. She can't have yeah. fresh milk. I've already told your Olympic crowd here. Yeah, yeah, I know. She can't have. She can't have powdered milk. No? Not that powdered that, milk. That's adult powdered that milk. Doesn't provide yeah, but she's under one. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. That, but I, yeah. Well, I want somebody to go outside of the airport and get me powdered milk from a chemist of some sort. Because this is beyond a joke. You knew before we got in here that I needed milk, and you've done oh, all. You've done oh, all. Excuse me. What? Yeah, I do because I'm pissed off because you you've done nothing. I, you haven't tried hard enough. Go to the chemist and say you need baby milk. My main concern is the powdered milk for the baby. You knew that at four o'clock, and you've done sweet FA about it. You've done sweet FA. Sorry. And I give you the money, I give you the money. We can, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you have a colleague to go. I have to go myself. All right. Okay, get the receipt and I give you okay. the money later. Just to, yeah. just to satisfy the lady. Okay. Jessica's not going to be popular if she comes back empty handed. Time check is 3.30. Howard's definitely missing his flight. <laughs> it's 3.30, Howard will be getting his flight, otherwise I'm going to be in a whole heap of not very nice stuff. Half an hour later, it doesn't seem like they're keen on losing their star attraction just yet. Stop 
Jessica's back and it looks like she's saved her bacon. Right, pampers and baby milk. So hopefully um, everyone will be happy now. <laughs> Double will do, anything will do. Right, okay. Is that Thank you very much. Um, well, it's eight hours too late, you know what I mean, but at least we've got it. You know what I mean? It's absolutely discreet that you have to swear a bit to get your own way, you know what I mean? But we've got it. But as long as I get on that plane in the next two hours, I'll be happy. Hope you darling. <laughs> <laughs> It's 4.30. Howard should have left half an hour ago in order to make his connection to Ibiza. He's now got just 30 minutes to travel to the airport, 30 miles away. Well, see you later. See you later. OK, we're ready. We take care. Bye-bye. Come on, Alfred! Uh. Jesus. Uh, I hope I'm going to make the plane. We've got a taxi driver here, that's um, Michael Schumacher. So, he's doing well. I think it's um, a seatbelt job, actually. Because you never know. Come click every trip. At the airport, at last, there's some good news for the Gatwick passengers. May I have your attention, please? FlyJet announces the departure of flight FJE 445 to London Gatwick. All passengers travelling on this flight are kindly requested to proceed to gear number three. Thank you. It's been quite a hard day for everyone, for passengers as well, but they're all boarding the flight now and they all seem quite happy now. Relieved to be going home, I think. I'm off home myself now as well. <laughs> Howard's flight will be closing in three minutes. Well done. He's the man. Oh, nice He's the man, speedy. <laughs> He's made it with seconds to spare, but he's still got three flights and 2,400 miles to go before he reaches Ibiza. Two. Records. Sorry? Records. DJ. And what ticket is it? Is it economy or business? Economy. It is. Yes. Oh, shit, it's a liar. This is your seat from Lovnagat to Athens. Here I come, Ibiza. Russian newlyweds Anna and Dennis Bilas thought it would be romantic to travel to their honeymoon destination dressed in their wedding clothes. But when they arrived at Larnaca, the plan backfired. We decided to spend our honeymoon here in Cyprus, uh, at Limassol. But we got a problem. Our luggage was lost, so we have nothing here beside this wedding dress. We came here, but our luggage... We don't came, it was lost, and we don't know what we should now, we should do now, because we have no nothing, just our wedding dress. <laughs> Good beginner of honeymoon, isn't it? First they said that maybe it, uh, this luggage didn't come from Moscow. Uh, then they said that most likely it's somewhere here and now they try to find it. I hope it will not spoil our honeymoon. If their luggage is still in Moscow, they won't see it till the next flight arrives into Cyprus in another five days. They're only on honeymoon for a week. A little bit upset, of course.
Yesterday, Dennis and Ala Billis arrived from Russia to start their week-long honeymoon, but their luggage didn't arrive with them. Their unusual attire is turning heads at their hotel's buffet breakfast. The, the luggage is, was probably left at Moscow and uh, most likely it will arrive uh, tomorrow. In the meantime, it's off to the shops to find something a little more practical. We lost our Let luggage. Make him feel. You lost your luggage? Yes, we came from oh, the wedding party. Yes, you lost the bags in here in Larna Yes, exactly. They just lost their luggages in the airport and they just came from their own country like that, dressed up with the wedding dress and the groom and bride. It's a bit of a shame, though, so I feel sorry for them. Something like this? Short sleeve? No, 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 no. Something like this. Uh, this is a ladies. This is for ladies. I'm, I'm looking for ah, ladies. Ah, all right, sorry. <laughs> Much better. Bye-bye. Good luck. <laughs> now I feel a little bit sad because uh, my wedding dress is taking off and uh, Last three days it was really funny. It was it was a big holiday for us, and uh, now I feel a little bit sad. At the airport, Emma's come across a passenger with a case of bad timekeeping. Oh, bless! <laughs> um, gentlemen, I missed my plane oh. to England because my watch is set two hours different. <laughs> you forgot to put it forward I when you landed. I, I, because my memory is a not very good memory. <laughs> so I'm late, my plane is gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> we'll sort something out for you. Okay. Um, are you traveling on your own, sir? You are. Michael White is a widower so who came to Cyprus to revisit the village where he and his wife spent their last holiday life. together. Dead honest with you, there's no flights out of here with, with us or other companies going to East Midlands today. The nearest one we're going to have for you is going to be Newcastle. Um, do you want to go and take a seat over there? I'll, I'll push your trolley. Okay. All right. Oh dear, and you haven't noticed all holiday that your watch has been two hours behind. No. <laughs> I've been helping the car. I bet the hotel kept saying it's this blooming man again. That's why there wasn't any breakfast this morning when I got down there. It finished. Oh. And I didn't realise it was finished. When I went out shopping, all the shops were closed. Because I thought oh, my watch was different. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's a real shame. Um, we're going to do our best for you. What I'll do, um, I think we have got some seats on our Newcastle flight, um, and then I'll ring Newcastle Airport and I'll find out what train services they've got going down to the Midlands for you. Okay. All right. I want to take a seat there so I know where you are. Apparently, I look like Dustin Hoffman. You do a little bit. Now you've mentioned it, actually, you do. But you're much better looking than him, anyway. What's your name, sir? Dustin Hoffman. No. Your real name? <laughs> Mr. Michael White. Michael White. Michael White. Do you mind if I call you Michael? Well, no. Me, Give me. A, I'm going to be here long enough. <laughs> well, my name's Emma Michael. I'm just going to go and make a couple of phone calls for you now. Yeah, Give be... me five, ten minutes and I'll come back I'll over to you. All right. Thank you. I have suffered from short term memory loss, you know? So, all the time I've been two hours out. So, two hours late for breakfast, two hours late for dinner in the evening, but I thought it was the right time. My flight was at quarter to two this afternoon. Tell us what time it's on your watch. My watch is five past one. <laughs> five past one. But what time is it really, though? I, uh, five past three. Five past three. So now I'm going to have a drink of water <laughs> and a biscuit. I can do nothing else. Anna and Dennis Billis have been married for just three days and they're starting to have a honeymoon to remember for all the wrong reasons. Goodbye. We're getting... We're starting to be angry because nobody tried to help us. 
they've decided to visit their airline's handling agent. Hello. Hello. Do you think uh, Avalair Company, is it responsible for this uh, loss? For this of the, for, for the delay? I can't answer you this question. Okay. Why? You um, can, who can speak with the director. Okay, okay uh, where can we find him? On a Friday. No, we have nothing. No money, nothing. What we should do? Okay. We spent all money for clothes. What we should I do? I understand you, but okay. they can't help you. We have to wait until Friday. That's the only information we have. We are waiting. That's two days before Anna and Dennis are due to leave for home. Hmm. Big pity that we have to spend our honeymoon time, which is very precious for us, not only in terms of money, but in terms of just time and holiday for things like this. It seems that Michael White's two-hour time lapse could have landed him with a long journey home. An elderly gentleman has missed his flight, so we're going to put him on the Newcastle flight, but he needs to get back to East Midlands. And I was hoping that you could give me some information. He'll be travelling for more than 12 hours. You jump on the metro train into Newcastle main train right, station, OK? okay? Now, from that main tra train station, you're going to get on the 10.45 train that takes you down to Leeds. That's, That's tonight, yeah. That's tonight, yeah, so you'll get on the 10 UK time, your watch time. <laughs> um, you're going to get on the 10.45 Newcastle to Leeds, right? All right? Now, it gets off, you get off at Leeds at 20 to 2 in the morning. Yeah, OK. But the train to East Midlands Airport isn't until half past 3, so there is a wait of two hours there for you. And I think it arrives at East Midlands Airport something like half 5 in the morning. Ten, we'll have to take half 5 or 10 to 6, she said, so... Um, what do you think to that? That's fine. Yeah? That's fine. Right, no problem. <laughs> Let me speak to my supervisor and I'll see what and we can do about... I'm going to write it down for you and That's see what we can do about problem. changing your ticket. Do you want to finish your coffee and then come over to me in about ten minutes? All right. OK, we'll do. Thank I'll you. I'll see you in a minute, Mike. Thank you. Now, he's not, not a spring chicken and he doesn't obviously walk very well, so I just feel really sorry for him. Uh, we're going to check him in for the Newcastle and um, wave him off. At last, Michael's on his way home. Hopefully. Leaves here at 17.30, that's your flight number. That's two and a half hours, isn't it? No, it's not. Your, your watch is two hours behind. <laughs> Don't start this again. I'm not giving you another right. flight, you know. No, right, I'm OK. Not... <laughs> How long before my flight goes now? It's it, an hour and a half. Oh, right. Not an hour and a half. Now hour it, it's hour. four o'clock now. OK. So right. it's an hour and a half and you, your flight right. leaves. Cyprus time. Yep. So 17.30, Cyprus time. It's the BY 574B right. to Newcastle Airport. OK. Right. Well, at least now you can travel in style. <laughs> I'm really pleased. Oh, good. All right, well, listen, take care of yourself. <laughs> Have a good well, journey home. I know it'll be a long one. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you later. OK. Bye. <laughs> if Michael's watch had been set correctly, he would have been touching down at East Midlands Airport about now. Instead, he's heading for Newcastle, then Leeds, and won't get home till about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, I just feel dead sorry for him. I mean, he's gonna, it's going to be freezing cold in Leeds train station. I mean... I don't know what, Leeds train station's probably very upmarket and, you know, all the amenities, but I just imagine him sitting on this platform, freezing cold, with no jackets, <laughs> waiting for his train. Oh, bless him. He's got a very long night ahead of him. Friday at Larnaca, and two pieces of luggage have just arrived from Moscow Airport, where they've been sitting for the past five days. Three hours ago, a uh, plane from Moscow landed here, and we are waiting our luggage. We hope that our luggage on this plane. What is this? Oh, yeah! Oh. 
It's finally. Dennis and Anna's luggage has finally arrived, 36 hours before they're due to leave. So we're now happy, completely happy. We have everything with us, all our things. The child family counted the cost of their blunder with a £1,200 credit card bill and flew home the next day. Anna and Dennis were able to enjoy a clean change of clothes for the last night of their honeymoon, and time traveller Michael White successfully followed Emma's instructions to make it home. He's now back on Greenwich Mean Time. A journey a hell to home. Thank you. Holiday Airport Cyprus, where it's not always fun in the sun. We can't come back to no. Cypriot land again. No. no. Again. I love sunny old England. Where things don't always run like clockwork. Saves on a hotel, Billy. I'm going to put us all in a hotel for the night. Out. They she double got... booked the plane. I think the elastic band's gone on the aeroplane. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, oh, ah, bugger. <laughs> where saying goodbye is never easy. Does it or doesn't you have it? To pay for a lot Does it or doesn't it? But yeah, it should be done. Did you okay? And where passengers give reps the runaround. If ever you do have a problem, kick off, swear at people, and uh, you'll get things for free. Standing at the crossroads of Europe, Asia and Africa, Cyprus is an island that boasts the best of three continents. It's been independent from the UK for more than 40 years, but still 50,000 expats call it home. And while you can explore the island in a day, Cyprus entertains a million and a half British holiday makers each year. Most arrive at Larnaca Airport, many on a Sunday, the busiest day. There to greet them are handling agents to serve and tour operators Thompson, Libra and Olympic Holidays. This is the most disorganised airport in the whole of Europe. What a load of shit! Did you request, sorry, Mother, did you request that from your rep for yes. extra seat room and they, they haven't on the deck? No, let me just have the words and see what we can do. I can yeah, no problem. What I'll do is I'll give you a customer service report form. Lovely. OK, you can just hold on one second, then I'll write down all your details on it and you can fill it out whilst you're here. All right. Inside the airport, Libra rep Talia Lawrence has got on the wrong side of an angry passenger. His check-in desk has been moved and he was the last to find out. Talia's company has more than 100,000 passengers travelling to Cyprus each year, and she knows all too well she can't please them all. Go to gate 3538. We'll go to the front of the queue. A gentleman with special needs for a special legroom. They close that gate and put us up here, and we're at the end of the queue. We end up with last on the plane. We're all split up, a party of nine. A journey of hell to home. Thank you. Gatwick is checking in here. The airline said that Glasgow was going to be able to check in behind it. They changed their mind, moved Glasgow up for the check-in desks, and that left us with the problem of some people who didn't hear them standing behind the Gatwick. I wish you'd have brought it to my attention before. Brought it to your attention? You came where we are. We're on a hell flight now. Nine years, we don't sit together. A man's going to be cramped for four and a half hours because right. you couldn't get it right. But you, did, you didn't bring it to my attention. Well, we're still gate 35 to 38. Right, OK. Gate 45. I've been standing here for an hour When I went to the school, that wasn't the 35 to 38. I've, I've been standing here for an hour and a half. So, that's just about the time I've been standing. So, for other reps, and you could have brought it to my attention. I'm very sorry that you didn't understand that you should do that. Oh, I'll always do something about this with the travellers at home, Would you like to fill this format then for me? I would love to fill it out. Can I just take your name? Oh, I'm going to go through here. Good morning. Well, honey, you, don't, you don't want to... I'll tell you what, if you take this form, it has our customer service department address at the bottom. All oh, right. Lovely. Thanks very much. Obviously, he wanted to perform a little bit just to... Um, make his point. Instead of um, talking about it reasonably, he decided to shout, which is his decision at the end of the day.
Stamp agent Marcus Burden is preparing to dispatch an XL Airways flight to Manchester. In the aviation industry, time is money. His mission is to ready the plane for its return journey in less than 30 minutes, or risk losing his next slot. But he's off to a bad start. Captain, we've got a little problem. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got no conveyor belts. There's a lack of conveyor belts, so we can't open the doors to get the bags down. Just a minor problem. Do you think you can borrow a conveyor belt from somebody else, one of the other hammers? Yeah, I've called them. They said that they're a bit busy. They're going to bring them in about five minutes. There's a lot of planes in, and there's a lack of conveyor belts because they've uh, used them on all the other planes. So they're taking their time bringing them up on this plane, so we can't get the bags down. So we've got all the passengers in the terminal waiting for their bags, and they're not very happy. At check-in, Eleanor Stavrinou is waiting for the passengers travelling on the plane's return journey to Manchester, but it's unusually quiet. This flight should be open now, uh, half an hour ago. And uh, we have no passengers for this flight. We were expecting 233 passengers. But now there is no one here. I don't know what's going on. And neither does anyone else. They gave us the tickets to come here and told us to pick up the tickets here for the flight back. Right? You're not getting paid a penny. No one's getting paid a penny. If I need to speak to your manager. It's happening, you get taken away everywhere. Right. Well, unfortunately, unless you've got a ticket to travel on the aircraft, I can't issue Mark and ticket. Sarah Jane Rice are returning home to Glasgow after a last minute package deal. They claim they weren't issued the return portion of their ticket and are demanding a replacement. But Thompson rep Emma Cogan is arguing that both legs of their journey would have been issued on the same stub. Absolute bollocks. And she's not backing down. If you swear at me, I will not be helping you at all. Absolutely, no way we're paid. The bottom line is that we've paid for the term tickets, and as long as we get home on the flight that we're booked on, then I'm happy, you know? Basically, she's been of no help whatsoever, and she's just been swearing at me, that bird, going, oh, she's a load of bollocks, rah, 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 rah. They're saying they haven't got any money. They have just had a go at me, sworn, told me that I was speaking a load of shit. I didn't know what I was on about, rah, rah, started screaming at me, we are not giving them free tickets, we are not. Please back, back me on this one. When you checked in, you have to give your ticket in, else I wouldn't have let you on the plane. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You have to charge for the return ticket. That's good. That, we've already paid for the return ticket. We have to charge £15 for a return ticket. We have to. Does, wow. it, does it or doesn't it state there that we've paid in full for a return package holiday with everything included return flights? Well, hang on, what you're saying is if you went into Debenhams and bought a dress, or, well, not a dress, a pair of trousers then, you went out and you left the trousers on a bus, you went back to Debenhams and said, well, I haven't got these trousers, but that proves I paid for them, should Debenhams give you that pair of trousers again? Not Emma, that. what's your son in? Well, because yours has got to go on a letter as well. well that's fine, it's Kogan. That's C for Charlie, yeah. O for Oscar, G for Dolph, I for India, tickets. N we for November. Another 15 minutes have passed, and there's still no sign of Eleanor's missing passengers. But Marcus is in luck. He's found a spare conveyor belt. Unfortunately, a new problem is now jeopardising his fast turnaround. All right, what's happened now is that one of the clots on the wing that shows how much fuel uh, uplift it's taking doesn't work. So I'm going to have to explain to the captain, and he's got to come down and fix it if he can. It's on one stuff. piece of card. But it was, it was only two. Big right, there's no point yeah, arguing this. Right. We could go over and over this all night. The bottom line is, are we getting on this flight and going home on time? Because or, or, either way, I'm, I'm going to be writing a letter. That's anyway, that's fine, anyway. That's fine, now it's up to you to how, how you have reflected in this. I mean, we you know? We have to charge £15 pounds for lost tickets. No chance. The row over the missing ticket has reached a stalemate. But airport manager Alison Bailey realises that someone has to back down. She agrees to reissue a replacement portion of the ticket free of charge. OK, so can we check in? Yeah, just check in and then just go straight. Thanks for your help. Thank you. The situation just kind of got out of control, which is why, obviously, I called um, my airport manager. They got what they wanted in the end. They got their free tickets. Um, if ever you do have a problem, kick off, swear at people, and uh, you'll get things for free. I think that's uh, the moral of that story. I mean, it's not like it's a huge amount of money, but it's the principle, you know, we've paid for the return flights, we've not lost anything, we've not done anything wrong, so I'm not going to be held accountable for someone else's mistake, you know? So, anyway, we're getting the flight, and it's bottom line. I'm happy. Sweet, go home now. Marcus is unaware that no one's yet checked in for his Manchester flight and is determined to stick to his deadline. He reports the fuel gauge problem to the captain. 
all the first officer has to do is press a button to reset the fuel. No, just push a button to reset it and then start off again. Officer run. It's not a big deal, you know. Every day is like this. You should have told me I could have pushed the button. <laughs> All right then, it wasn't a problem at all. It was just a button they had to press just to reset the timer. Uh, it's not going to cause a delay, thank God. Let's see what other problem comes up today. Right, now we've got a crew member missing. They're stuck in duty free. They can't get a lift down to the plane, so I'm going to have to go pick her up on the little more way. Could it get any better? I found the girl, she was stuck at the, at the departures area. She didn't have the lift to come to the plane. Good job that I found her quickly, because she would have been in a lot of trouble. While Marcus has found his crew member, Eleanor is still missing her 233 passengers. Larnaca Airport was built in 1974 after Cyprus was divided into two separate territories. It's witnessed its fair share of tears and tantrums, but a plane load of passengers has never gone missing before. At the Manchester desk, Eleanor is still playing the waiting game, but at Airside, Marcus has some news. All right, let me tell you, I'll give you these upstairs, it's a bit windy. OK. All right, the flight was supposed to be leaving full, yeah. but it's leaving empty now, so it's good news for you. Oh, great. Yeah, I told the refueler guy, I might want to change your fuel. All and right. I've got flight plans as well, I'll give you them upstairs. So you'll be on the beach an hour after we take off? Exactly. All right. Uh, for a plane with no passengers, it caused a lot of problems. If there were passengers, uh, I reckon there would be about half an hour to 40 minute delay. Excel Airways was operating this flight on behalf of another airline. But it seems that nobody had told them, or Eleanor at check-in, that this plane was actually going back empty. If it had been full, it would have made around £17,000 in passenger fares. It's 4 a.m. in baggage reclaim, and these passengers have had a disrupted start to their holidays. We was at Birmingham, we arranged to fly from Birmingham. When we got there, they said it's cancelled. We're going to put you on a coach to Manchester. It wasn't so bad once we got to Manchester. We were straight on, like we didn't have time to do anything, just had to rush straight in. They said they didn't even bother in weighing our cases, you know. And now, to make matters worse, 35 minutes have passed, and there's no sign of their luggage. Stood here waiting for nothing really. Just so we didn't bags get there. No bags. Finally, after a further 15 minutes, they head off to demand answers. I don't know what happened because we sent us a telex and they told us that the two bags stayed behind. We don't know, we don't know the reason. We 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 can't find out what happened. We bothered to get it down in time for us to get on the flight. That's all they were bothered about was getting the flight out. Everybody blames somebody else. It's not our fault. It's uh, Britain, it's Tom Son, it's Candy uh, Gage, it's, it's just like that. It's just a complete mess. All they wanted to do was get us on those flights and get us over here and yep. sod the consequences. <coughs> they knew full well our luggage wasn't coming. We've got children with no nappies or anything. We can't buy any nappies anywhere till tomorrow. And that we're just in a state, you know. The perfect start to two weeks in the sun, not a pair of flip-flops between them. For the 80,000 British clubbers who visit Cyprus each year, the good news is that few places in Europe can compete with the nightlife mecca Ayanapa. The bad news is that no one there has yet come up with an effective cure for hangovers. Twins Darren and Lindsay Cooper are finding this out the hard way. They've just arrived at the airport and they're about to pay the price for a late night out. 
uh, we turned up. We saw EMA actually on that screen, but uh, we just stood in the queue because we were a bit hungover still from last night. And uh, we came up, what, 10 minutes before the flight, and the flight's gone. So I've got a bit of work tomorrow, but never mind. My boss was saying, um, if, they turn, if I turn up late, he says, uh, well, he wants to, please, I don't know if he's going to fire me. <laughs> How old are you? How are you? How old are you? I'm not identical right. twin. Uh, are you twins? I should have said that and I went, no, you look like brothers. <laughs> um, so if you're under 28, you could have got a discount, but never mind. Uh, Cyprus Airways got a flight at 10 o'clock in the morning into Manchester. All right. um, 191. I'm not sure how many seats Cyprus Airways have got on that Manchester tomorrow. Might only be two. Go and have a word with them and see what, see what they tell you. Good luck. Hope you don't lose your job. <laughs> This group of garage MCs are looking for a way home after two weeks in Ayanapa. Originally booked on a British Airways flight to London, they've suddenly landed themselves in trouble. They kicked us off the plane today, yeah, because I'm a separate woman, yeah. yeah. My brother, he yeah, had a video camera. And she's trying to touch it up and she's trying to do all sorts. He's just trying to come back to England with a little footage, yeah? Because he's a star. We're all trying to come back with a little footage. Some stupid Cypriot woman's put her hand on my brother's video camera like she's got authority over the mandem. So he had to switch on her for one second, put her in her place. She's gone and told the captain of the plane yeah, some jazz that we're kicking her seats and all that. And when we got off the plane... She they don't even know. They're dealing with us like we're stupid. They're pushing us, trying to get their stun guns out and all sorts. What we want to do is get back to London. Get home. We, don't, we want to get back to England. We don't mind if we was in Scotland, we'll Scotland. walk. We'll walk. No, we'll go. do anything. We'll no. do any England is live. Right. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we can't come back to... No. Cypriot land again. No. no! Again! I love sunny old England. Thank you. How about that? Rainy old England. We don't mind whatever the weather is. Something. We want to get back there immediately. <laughs> they must now hope they'll be accepted on a standby flight to somewhere in the UK. You're lucky this one back in East London, you know. While others are making the most of their Cypriot holiday, Birmingham passengers are still fuming about their missing luggage. First thing she said was, Mommy, I want to go in the pool. And, um, you know, I haven't got anything for her. Got no sun hats, all no, the food, the food. Uh, all the food, all the baby milk, all our shorts, everything, sun cream, the lot. It was absolute disaster. Because of my size, I'm six foot six, etc. So I just can't go into a store and I just buy anything. I mean, they're, they're an upper short. And they, as you can see, they're not that big. I mean, they kind of look um, not for me. I think I could have been the sort of longer ones, but I had no choice. They said, this is the extra large that we do. You work all year, and these two weeks, the only two weeks you get to enjoy yourself. And what you do, you go down to breakfast looking like a tramp. You've got to spend the rest of the day looking like a tramp and feeling like a tramp. The latest news from Britannia Airways is that their luggage will be flown to Paphos Airport on the other side of the island and then delivered to the passengers by coach at six o'clock. I have to believe that when I see it because we've been told so many, so many stories. Back at the airport, the Cooper twins have cooked up a cunning plan. I'm going to go over to Cyprus Airways and... Uh, say that I'm on a 28, well, 28 or under, because I'm actually 30. If you say you're 28 and under, you'll get it for a student price, £110. You might want to see my passport, which will obviously give me age away, so I'll go over, otherwise I'll have to pay £191, so we're going to go over and have a go, see if, we check, see if I get away with it. <laughs> Do you have a, a flight to Manchester, anyway, tomorrow? Tomorrow at 10, yes. Yeah. Two more seats available. Okay, you don't. Um, can I pay by card? Mm hmm Do you want a one-way ticket? Yeah. Um, are you under 28? Yeah. Can you pass for you? They're not on me, no. I just said... No, 
it's not going to work. They're going to check my passport tomorrow, so booked a reservation. But uh, so it'll be 191, but we'll wait until tomorrow to see if they do check it. <laughs> 110 quid, it's worth a try. <laughs> All right, see you later. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Usually, we land in Heathrow Airport, you know. Manchester, and now we have to go to Manchester, you know. It's not quay, like, quay out. Mission from the yard, but we're going to have to land because it's just closer to home, innit, than friggin' Cyprus. We need to get out of here. The MCs have had to pay £150 each for tomorrow morning's flight to Manchester, but as their new tickets are only on standby, there's no guarantee they'll all get on the plane. <laughs> oh, mate! The twins head back into town, but are determined to try out their scam again tomorrow. With no sign of getting home tonight, the MCs can only dream of sunny old England. Tomorrow, they'll be hoping for standby seats on the next Manchester flight. The Birmingham passengers have been trying to make the most of a bad situation. Their bags were supposed to arrive three and a half hours ago, but there's still no sign. As you can see, we're still waiting. They told us it will be originally six o'clock, then it will be about eight o'clock, and it's now gone sort of almost 9.30, and we're just still waiting for the bags. No sign of mass. We can't do anything. We can stay forever. Just as they're about to give up, there's finally some good news. So the bags are finally here, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, I just don't want to unpack now. <laughs> I don't want to be unpacking too. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I can have some fresh clothes on there. Now I'm in a better mood. Thank you very okay. much. Have a nice holiday. Thank you. Sorry about the My holiday starts now after sort of been 24 hours here. Good, this whole thing was one big dilemma. What a joke. After spending the night in the terminal, the garage MCs have finally been accepted on a Cyprus Airways flight to Manchester. We've got a lift from Manchester straight home. Nice. Nice going to be well. But we shouldn't have got chucked off. We've got a complaint about the pilot. It's the pilot's fault. The pilot's really worth taking off. This time around, they're checked in without incident. But to make it on board, they'll have to agree to a few ground rules. Yes, how can we hear it? The MCs have made it on board, but there's been no sign of the Cooper twins. It seems they've decided against their scam after all. In London, friends Janet Talsma James and Angela Debassi have splashed out £2,300 each to take advantage of the latest trend sweeping across Cyprus plastic surgery holidays. The package includes flights, accommodation, and for these two, a tummy tuck operation. I need to wear certain things to look good, to make me feel happy. 
and when I can't wear them, it makes me depressed. I just want to look normal, like a normal woman, like any, anybody else. You see what I mean? Not looking like something is in front of me and I'm behind it. <laughs> At the moment, I'm size 16 in dresses, but I would like to go down to either 10 or 12, if possible. I want to stop shopping in uh, camping shops. I want to give up the tents, you know. Yeah. There's not that many places sell jumbo sizes. I love this because it takes people away from your middle and, you know, people are looking at your shoulders. Yeah. And we got really nice colour, so it's yeah. really nice to yeah. have that yeah. kind of, you know, the shoulders being exposed. That is lovely. Yeah, the reason why I decided to go to Cyprus is because, number one, the price is very cheap comparing to Harley Street prices. Number two, you combine holiday with it. I'm going for two weeks holiday and then getting a, a tummy tuck as well. So that is bonus. I know. By going to Cyprus, Janet and Angela are saving £2,000 each on the surgery and getting a holiday on top. In two days' time, their plastic surgeon will be Andreas Scarparis. He operates on up to 30 British patients a month. People, they like this idea, you know, of the surgical holidays because uh, they can be in a foreign country, far away from the eyes of neighbours and friends, and they can return back to the UK, uh, refresh, reborn, having a surgery at the same time, a good rest from a holiday destination. May I have your attention, please? Mrs. Gavrilova, Mrs. Gavrilova, traveling to Kiev. Please proceed to gate number three immediately as you are the last passenger. Thank you. On the tarmac, an Aerovit flight to Kiev has been held at a standstill for more than 10 minutes. The problem, a Russian passenger's gone missing. No, I noticed that I check in here, but I don't remember her. <laughs> I check in so many passengers, so I have, I have to check. Maria Iyanu has the task of tracking her down. Martino, hello, Martinos. Neto. I must be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We, got all the we have to check all the areas, all the possible areas. What we can do. Okay. I hope I will not come alone back. Victoria. She's not here. Uh, but... It's now 20 minutes since the plane was due to take off. I will go to check to the toilet. It's not there. Check all the possible areas. <laughs> I will check there as well. On the other side of the airport, passengers bound for Humberside have found their plane has developed a technical fault. A replacement aircraft is being flown in from Cairo, but it could be a long wait. So the uh, flight will depart 2030. It will land to East Midlands because the aircraft is bigger and they will transport the passengers from East Midlands to Humberside. Right. Yes. <laughs> My bus is okay. Right, thank you. How long is it? Our road then? Like two hours. Two hours. Keeping the passengers yeah, updated is Olympic Holidays supervisor Jessica Mizon, who has 40 people on the flight. Really, taking you to another airport is unacceptable. The delayed passengers have been told to expect a new departure time of 8.30. But it's already 8 o'clock and there's no sign of the replacement plane. I just want to get home now. It's getting a bit too much now, isn't it? Waiting around, that's all it is. Janet and Angela have arrived in Cyprus for their plastic surgery packages. Home for the next two weeks is the four-star Palm Beach Hotel in Larnaca. But with 24 hours to go before surgery, there's no need to begin fasting yet. Oh, this price is too small. 
I say it's too small. Do you like vinegar? <laughs> I don't like vinegar, I want more rice. I think after the operation, if it's gone well, it'll be a chance to see Cyprus. I mean, I came yeah. here a long time ago, and it'd be nice to see it again, see how it's changed. And it's a beautiful island. It'd be really good to enjoy it. I don't know how much weight I will lose because we haven't discussed about that, but I hope to lose quite a lot. For me, the operation could happen now. You know, 10 minutes notice is all I need. I'm really pleased, and I'm really glad that it's going to happen tomorrow. Back in departures, the delayed Humberside passengers are still waiting for the arrival of their new aircraft. Time now is uh, half past eight. This is the time the guests were due to depart on their flight to East Midlands. Um, the, the aircraft that um, Helios have borrowed from another airline is uh, still in Cairo, so it's going to be further delayed. But as of yet, we don't know how long. It's a scam to save them some money. That's the only reason. Okay. Saves on a hotel bill. They haven't got to put us all in a hotel for the on, night. They double off. book the pay. I need to get back to my school to see my new class. Half an hour has passed, and the passengers on the Kiev flight are going nowhere. Maria decides to take affirmative action. OK. I will off load here. Hello, go on. So we have one less passenger now. We have 87 instead of 88. We check all the gates, all the toilets, duty free, executive lounge. We have nothing else. <laughs> no. Oh my God, she's here. Oh my God, she's here. Ella Martino, Martino, where have you been, madam? I don't listen. You don't listen? I think she's quite drunk. I'm not sure. I saw you there and I was calling you. Give. Why you didn't come to the I gate? I don't listen. You Madame, didn't listen, but you are pl the place I saw living. you at the shop and I was calling you. Give. Gavrilova. And you just look at me and you pass. Sure, I don't listen. But the plane is leaving 10 past 8, madam. We are supposed to be here from 7.30. Can you come with us, please? I feel very angry for her because if she didn't want to travel, she wouldn't come here Why she came to check in. After an hour in immigration, Miss Gavrilova is told to stay in departures overnight and wait for the next flight to Kiev tomorrow afternoon. She agrees not to drink any more alcohol. She's drinking now, how she will travel tomorrow? Perhaps she's drinking in purpose, so she will not travel again tomorrow. I don't know. What can I do? I must wait, I know this. I'll wait. Now I live in Larnaca in airport. This night. Tomorrow I will wait for her to check in. <laughs> Jessica, is it definitely going to be half Yeah, it's, in the, it's uh, on its it? way now from Cairo, so yeah. Oh, we've got a new time. Five past twelve now. We'll be here till eight o'clock tomorrow night. Finally, six and a half hours after their original flight was due to depart, the Humberside passengers can begin their journey home. But, but now we have to go to East Midlands, get, then get a coach from East Legends, which is going to take two hours to get there. I'm not going back to school tomorrow. I'm going to go back to my bed. I was going to say, it's the worst flight through and the worst holiday I've been on for waiting. They're not organised. They're not organised. Okay, ten more passengers is the eleven. I think the elastic band's gone on the aeroplane. <laughs> 
It's a new day at the airport, and with the afternoon Kiev flight ready to board, Maria is anxious to check on her Russian passenger. OK, I just asked the immigration for the passenger who missed the flight last night. They just told me that uh, she asked them to go out for a while, and she didn't show up, she didn't come back. So I don't think she will travel on this flight. But for me today, no problem, because she didn't check in, so that's not my problem. Victoria Gavrilova is out there somewhere, but no one, police or immigration, seems to know quite where. All they do know is that her passport and luggage remain at Larnaca Airport. It's the big day for Janet and Angela. They're off to the surgery for their tummy tucks. Woke up and thought, yeah, this is it, girl. Had a look at my tummy and said, goodbye. <laughs> the stomach of this woman is exactly the same shape of mine. That's how we are going to be looking after, after our surgery, hopefully. All right, Janet, so let's uh, take some pictures. You should uh, remove the, the dress, all right? From this surgery, all this uh, area of uh, uh, excess skin and fat will be resected and the belly will become uh, flat. I'm rather feeling nervous for myself. I'm going to cope up and that needles and anesthetics, blah, 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 going in me. It was quite a massive surgery, I can uh, confess. So uh, I would prefer her, you know, to take a good rest. Uh, I don't know if this time she will be able to travel around Cyprus. Definitely not for the first week. We'll see. Janet, wake up, wake up, wake up. As Janet begins her recovery, the stage is set for Angela to take her place in the operating theater. On doctor's orders, Janet and Angela have spent the last few days taking things easy at the hotel following their operations. Now, a week on, they're feeling stronger and have decided to take a boat trip on Larnaca Bay. The outcome of the surgery has exceeded their expectations. It is just so dramatic. I just never, ever expected it to be this good. I've never been in a, a boat cruise before, as I said. Angela I lost three kilograms and Janet lost five. So far, the only downside is having to be hitched to tubes, which are used for draining out excess fluid from their stomachs. Here, careful now, careful. Don't forget your uh, drains and that. Don't forget, exactly, you mustn't forget your drains. Be careful, because that's how I, mine got yanked out. Thank you, darling. Well done, good girl. You OK, sweetheart? Yeah? Okay. I can't wait the day I'll at least get something nice to wear and then having a cocktail, sipping. There you go, darling. Angela was saying that I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. And I said it's because I missed the belly, because I used to put my plate on top of it and my cup and that, and, you know, and then I'd know what to do with myself. My son Randy used to call my belly Mammy's friend. <laughs> so now uh, Mammy's friend won't be there anymore. Mammy's friend is gone forever. <laughs> 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 oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, taking me 10 years to get rid of it. Mm. 10 good years. Yeah. I'm afraid we have a lot of passengers waiting, so you have to conduct the Olympic rep just behind the passengers. I told her, she asked me for the tickets just now and I gave them to her. No, 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 it's only oh, one don't ticket. Don't tell me what I've done, love. I know what I've already done. At check-in, Marula Pitsilos has just opened the desk for a flight to Gatwick, and she's already in the firing line. Just go inside. I don't want to create any problem. I need two tickets, though. Peter and Joyce Moss from Southampton are missing a plane ticket, and they're convinced they're not to blame. 
There's only one ticket. There's only one ticket. Can you replace one? Well, do you think we got eight here on one ticket then? We must have got eight here on two, mustn't we? Yeah, you must have. You must have been giving them back. Just let me just check for you. Hold on a second. Right, OK. Have you got any other anything else in there at all? They're not in the passports, no? OK, no, they're not in there. Give me two seconds, I'll just get my uh, food. Can you take them with you? Well, they want to delay the passage right, of the bag. Okay. All right, no problem at all. Yeah, we don't expect all this when we come back. <laughs> not many people let a scouser go through the stuff. No, that's what I'm standing behind you, not in front. <laughs> I'm just going to check the floor, one second. Thank you. I don't suppose you've got that ticket, have you? He's just, he thinks that he's handed it I in to you. I thought so, because it was like... It was a mess in yeah. his ticket, in his passport. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I made it clear, I told him it's only one ticket. He said, No, I gave you two. He thought it was two because it was too many pages. Scrubbled up. The ticket's been lost. I don't know whereabouts it's been lost, but I've just had the row up and I've checked well, it and yeah, it's not there. I want to tell you now, Scouts. <laughs> yeah. If anybody's lost bloody ticket, it's her, not me. Um, Perhaps she ate it. I don't know. I actually. I don't think she would have eaten it, but anyway, there we go, sir. <laughs> um, I'll just have a, word, a quick word with Jess and I'll see what we can do. All right, okay. Thank you. With the sightseeing over, the ladies are back at the surgery for their final consultations before being allowed to fly home. All right, Angela, let's go and have the, our final look before you go. All right. All right, would you like to lay down? So how do you feel? Yeah, I feel great. All right. I feel good. All right. Yeah. I mean, I checked the wound and it's looking very good. You know, yeah. feeling is uh, exceptional. Everything looks fine. fine. You know, yeah, um, is very satisfied. I thought it would be very big, yeah. but I didn't even feel anything. Yeah, feel anything. Yeah. It's really good. Really, really good. Oh, yeah, ready to dance oh. now. She's off. <laughs> oh. There's no stopping her now, is it? Ain't no stopping us now. Oh. We're on the move. <laughs> I can't shake my whistle. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, 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 Next in is Janet. Yesterday, she accidentally right. pulled the drains out from her stomach. So how did you spend the days, previous Last days? <laughs> All right, would you like just to? Yeah. All right, let's, let's have a look. Okay. All right. Okay, still a lot of swelling, eh? And the news is not good. He thinks I might have to stay in Cyprus maybe another week or so because he said the fluid's not draining. So the scars heal beautifully. It's just fluid. I mean, he drained about two litres just now. He said the scar is healing beautifully. So uh, there's a lot of fluid, so they're just going to put another drain in. So I'm just going to have a word with Flora because maybe I'll have to stay a little bit longer. We'll see anyway, yeah? We'll see. Don't worry. Yeah? No, I didn't give it to the lady. No, I didn't. That's how I've lost my wallet now. <laughs> it's, I mean, I, just, I know he's lost... The missing ticket hasn't shown up, so a new one will now be issued at a cost of £10. Yep. Have you told him he's going to have to pay Yeah, yeah, he knows he's got it ready. I'm going to go and train him for ten minutes, quick. Right, then I'm going to start. Right? <laughs> Never ever had this problem ever, and we've done a lot of travelling. Nothing's ever happened like this before, and I'll make sure it don't happen again. Well, enough of Cyprus, eh? Oh, you want Cypriot pension? Yeah. Okay, here is your boarding pass. Yeah. At the second time of asking, pass. the mosses are taking no chances. They opt for a different check-in attendant altogether. Sorry about all the upset. <laughs> 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 yeah, with that bad bad, you were right. Yeah, I thought if you took it out. 
Janet and Angela have been through a lot together. Today is Angela's final journey from the Palm Beach Hotel. In less than six hours, she'll be back in the UK, leaving Janet alone in Cyprus. Oh, oh is that an angel? Laleka Airport. I'm going to say goodbye to Laleka Airport. <laughs> so gate eight? Yeah. Okay. YT1444. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to have to leave you, my babe. Yourself, okay? Try and take care of yourself, okay? And be careful, all right? Be careful. I pray for you and you pray for me too, okay? had three more days in Cyprus before flying home on a discounted flight. Darren managed to hang on to his job. The delayed passengers got to Humberside at 8 a.m., eight and a half hours after they'd originally planned. And five days after Angela left, Janet received the all clear and was allowed to fly home. 17 days ago, I arrived a pale, fat caterpillar. Now I'm a butterfly and I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna really take off it. I just feel wonderful.